Hi, welcome to Gary's Hobby Studio. And in this video, this is the start of what the fuck is this? <laughs> um, discovered a lot of things after ripping up the floor. Uh, you will see them in the video. And they'll be more discussed at the end. All right, so here is day two, because we started a little bit on Friday, which I got most of that out. I still have to get the joists out. There's still some more of that stuff there, and it's also underneath there, because the, the, it kind of goes underneath a little bit. But here's why I'm now titling this, What the Fuck Is This? Because, I mean, I don't know how well this is translating, because it's just with the overhead light in the room. But, I mean, that's a lot of wood rot right there from when this basement floods. So, basically, you know, I have to look into probably pressure-treated lumber. I doubt if that's going to help because if it just sits in the water, it's just going to be all kinds of mess. And most of this crap that's still stuck on the floor... It's fiberglass insulation that they stuck in between, because you saw from the earlier videos. There's some of it still stuck to a lot of this shit that I pulled up today, which I'll probably over the next few days cut up so it can go into trash. Um, starting sometime tomorrow night or and Monday. So if I want to get all this stuff cleared out before we yank up anything else. I also have to figure out, too, because this stuff runs underneath that I learned, which, thank God, it ripped there, because I really don't want to replace this stuff because I'm not that skilled at all this stuff. I'll be lucky if I can handle the floor correctly without totally buggering that up. Um, I'm in my slippers, and I really don't want to step down into all that. But the green looks like what they coated the floor with uh, when they first put it in, which was how long ago. Because if we look over here real quick, you can see that's brown. So apparently they painted over it. And some of the chips that I've seen taken off of those, I've seen green. So I figured that they painted over this again. Like, as a matter of fact, there's a little chunk of green right there, as you can see. So, I had to use the Sawzall that I have to cut a lot of this stuff. I made a cut here. I'm probably going to have to run one, like, right by the edge of that, uh, just so I can get a lot of this out. Uh, it just has kind of a damp, musty smell once I opened everything up. Uh, another thing I learned, too, is that they use pieces of, like, little... I want to say quarter inch, uh, maybe quarter inch pieces of plywood or, you know, it's very thin wood and it was of a certain like rectangular size. I didn't look at it because I just yanked a lot of it out and threw it away. But they use that to kind of like, I don't know, to shim it or what. So, yeah, this floor is going to have to be majorly redone. And, like I said, I'll be studying videos, and this is going to take a little longer than I thought. <laughs> so 2021 is really kicking off to a bang. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if you look at this here, if I was over there, like, that's not even connected to the wall. It's not even framed correctly. I mean, I'm going to have to look into how to attach wood to a wall because I don't want this floor to move for multiple freaking reasons. Number one... It's a floor. It shouldn't move that much. I mean, I know it's going to because of weight and everything. Two, I have a server rack that's pretty much going to sit right where this stuff is because there's the outlets for it. Okay, and I want to be able to bolt it down to the ground so that I can pull servers out and I don't have to worry about the rack tipping over because the rack has quite a bit of holes. And I have to figure, like, I'll have to measure, like, the total length, see where it is, and then figure out where the hole will be and put, like, a decent type of wood. Maybe, maybe a, a one by six or, or something that's a little thick, that's more square, in underneath this section right here, 
so that I can drive things, you know, like big bolts down through to hold it down, which is what I'm looking to do. Um, because the, the thing is, if, if I'm putting servers in, I don't want the rack to tip over. I know once I have the three battery backups in there with batteries in it, I mean, my God, that's enough weight. Which is not a problem. It's just, I would still rather secure it so this way I know it's not going to go anywhere. Um, some of this stuff has been quite thick, which I have to measure it to, well, I'll, I'll know how thick of plywood that I'll need once I get everything reframed because if I'm looking at that correctly that's hollow underneath there I'm just trying to determine what's like load bearing and what isn't and, and stuff like that and that's where I'm at right at the moment um, but yeah, uh, yeah, this is a definite, uh, you know, what the fuck is this? Um, you know, I've seen a lot of these things here. Yeah, you know, I mean, just, I mean, there's where, like, some of the wood split. And like I said, you could definitely see it how yucky that wood looks. I mean, it's definitely been rotting over time. It was only a matter of time before I ran into some kind of problems with it. Um... Just too bad I didn't find out about this prior to moving everything in. Because <laughs> I could have I could have gotten it all fixed. I mean, I'm just afraid to, to take the panels off. I mean, I know one person who, I don't know why he said, you know, get some style. And I'm like, yeah, it's nerd. So, but anyways. Um, I know this is just sheets of, you know whatever the hell this shit is but that's a lot of work and I just want to get the floor fixed so I can put stuff back in here and get my room back in order and be able to move my desks back in and get my server rack moved get my servers put in go through all my stuff as I'm bringing it in and going nope yep nope yep and what I'm keeping what I'm not keeping um, yeah, I have to get a scraper to scrape off a lot of this, ugh, tripping over stuff, um, to get this, uh, insulation up, which is weird, there's no insulation in the ceiling, but yet they put insulation in the floor. I'm hoping that by not putting insulation back down, two things. Number one, uh, the room will be cooler. Probably won't. I mean, I know I'm going to put the ceiling tile back in because once I get the floor done and everything, the next things in the project are I want to get this done before the ceiling. I want to get the ceiling done before... I start bringing stuff in because once I get stuff in, I'm not even going to try it. So I'll have to get ceiling tile. I got to, I want to change that light out there from, oh, back up, from this style to the recess so it sits up inside so that hopefully, hopefully, it'll provide a lot better light and this way less likely I'll I can hit it carrying stuff in. Uh, still want to get that taken out, or that one, one or the other. I don't know which yet. Uh, I know my friend Jason's recommended to take that piece out there, and then I can pop that out. I like to do it without breaking the glass. I just want to, you know, I'll have to see if I can find the tool that he said it had some kind of a weird hook. And you could dig the grout out. I'd have to do it from both sides. And then that way I can put the dryer vent in there so that I can then vent. You know, I'm just afraid right now that I'm going to do this floor and it's not going to, it's not going to come out right. And then i got to pay somebody to come in and fix it. I'm just really worried about it. And I really am.
my 40 followers because I did get a new follower. I, I, I do want to say one thing. This is the scariest thing I have ever done in my entire life. And I am 50 years old. I turned 50 in 2020 and starting on my 51st year. And this is the most scariest thing I have ever done in any place I have ever lived. Um, I'm not going to lie. That's, that, that's one thing about me. The only time I will lie is if my life is threatened at where it's like point blank right in my face. But other than that, most things that I, I say, I, I don't lie about. Okay? Um, this is the most scariest thing I've ever done in my entire life. I've worked on cars. I've, you know, I've done some brake jobs for my, on my cars and, and in the past. And these new ones I will never do again. Um... And there's a whole lot of other things, too, um, that I've done. But this, by far, is the scariest that I've done because I have never done this. Um, I know my father's done some things with flooring. He, he built, uh, he took out a brick wall of the garage without having the whole thing fall down. He put a roof on that garage, by the way. It was flat, and then he... Uh, uh, like most houses, they have the the tree shape or the triangle shape one. He put that on the on the garage at our old place. He built the back wall after he took that wall out. And you know, like I said, I learned a lot from him, and I I do give him credit because I I wouldn't have done as much as I did if I didn't know what I was doing. Um, but yeah, this is uh, a little scary. Um, I'm afraid I'm going to botch it up so bad that somebody else is going to have to come in and undo everything I did and I mean this part of it's not a problem you have to remove the old to put the new on but I'm saying after I get this all out and I start measuring and cutting and placing and all that stuff I have no idea what the hell I'm doing and it, it like I said it it scares the bejesus out of me so but that's all for now uh went a little longer than i thought i was but i just started rambling but hey stay tuned for more fun haha <laughs> and here's another part um after tearing up the floor i got a bunch of wood pieces and there's not enough room obviously in my house in case you haven't seen any of the other episodes where i basically i'm going to cut this stuff up small enough to fit in trash bags so that I can haul it out on trash night. Um, this is one of them. I have a big, large piece of the particle board floor, which I'll be getting to after I do up these smaller ones. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna show you everything. I mean, I know there's a big pile in there, but this is just basically just this stuff I'm gonna show you and to give you an idea of what all I have to go through to do this. So here we go. And I am using a mask to protect myself from dust, and I've also got a pair of uh, earpieces to protect my hearing, too. You should always look for your safety, trust me. When I was younger, I was stupid, but as I got older, I'm thinking, no, I really don't want to hurt myself.
Alright, so as you can see, I definitely got a lot of the wood cut up and everything so it can be thrown out. I still got to cut up these. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'd like to not do it in here to try to minimize as much stuff, you know, dust and dirt inside the house because I don't want my ventilation system sucking it up and blowing it upstairs. And I left my glasses outside in the garage, which I have to go get them after this. But, yeah, just got to get this stuff cut up. Clean up this crap a little bit. I got to get a scraper to scrape all that fucking insulation up. I uh, was hoping to find another drain here for that there. and Yeah, that's yeah, just going to be fun. But I'm getting there. The demolition is going... You know, I'm the instrument of my own destruction. <laughs> if you might want to, if you catch that, if you're as big a nerd as I am. But yeah. Oh, God. I got to figure out what's holding this wall up. Because I got a feeling it's these joists. Yeah, I'll have to look at it and try to figure it out. I'm going to have to cut next to the wall. Leave that so I can look inside, see if I can figure out what it is that's holding this wall up. I really don't want to replace this crap, and I really don't. I shouldn't have to because it's been up out of the water. I just got to replace everything underneath it. and Like I said... It's not load-bearing, I know that. Okay, so, we got another section of the floor cut, in case you haven't noticed. Okay, also learned something about how they did this floor. There's no joist running there. That wood right there is what's supporting the shower on the other side of that wall. So I've come up with a solution. I'm going to have to put two two by fours together so that it'll bring it up high enough. Let me zoom out. Up high enough so that I may need either half or three quarter inch plywood to go on the floor here. Okay, and at some point in time, because I am not about to try to redo the shower myself because it's just one of those uh, stall type ones. I'll pay somebody when I have the money which probably once it falls through the floor but that way they'll have something to when they have to reframe the shower part there because it goes from I want to say there to roughly about there. Uh, could be a little more, a little less but they'll have something to screw into when they reframe it to bring it this way. Plus, we had the floor replaced in the bathroom because the water meter went. Yeah, that was fun. Um, but anyways, as you can see, all the nice pink and yellow funness of cotton candy under your frickin' floor. But, gotta cut up all... We cut up most of what was still here on the floor yet earlier. And not too bad, we've been down here for about an hour, maybe a little over that, and we actually got a lot more done. I mean, the next phase is I have to cut all that next to the walls out, because like I said, I'm going to have to specially modify all this good, nice crap. Because I got a feeling that wall is going to be the same way, it's not... I want to say it's not resting on anything, <coughs> but I could be wrong. Um, 
yeah, like I said, it's 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 just gonna be fun. But I measured the height, it's just under five inches there, and I'm sure it varies because of the fact the floor sloped because it's it's obviously a, a basement. Um but yeah, coming up this weekend, starting tomorrow and Saturday, we're going to end up cleaning this up, scraping the floor up and everything, and work on getting this. And Oh man, our trash man's going to hate us to no end. Um, but that's all for right now. Okay. And as you can see, I'm going to be having a wonderful time doing this floor, uh, especially with some of the things that was discovered. Uh, I also have some things that once the room is done and I move everything back in, I'm going to start um, doing some streaming on Twitch. Uh, I've had a Twitch account for a little while. Uh, links will be in the description for uh, probably t later once once I'm closer to being done. Uh, but I'm also on Instagram and uh, Facebook. I'll leave links in the description of this video. If you want to get in touch with me, uh, I do post some pictures of things. Um, you know, I'm going to, uh, for Twitch, I'm going to be uh, possibly painting. I think the first one I'm going to paint, uh, figure I'm going to paint on Twitch is going to be Soundwave that I have from the WizKids um, Deep Cuts. Um, but yeah, if you want to get in touch with me, you know, reach out on to twi Twitter, uh, Facebook. And uh, like I said, there'll be other things uh, that'll be discussed as things move along with the floor. Uh, I got a feeling this weekend I'll probably have all of the stuff done up. Then it's just the, well at least the main floor. I still have to rip out the um, the finish of the closet and get that framing out of there too. Uh, probably end up doing the same thing. I'll just use the Sawzall and just cut it and then um, basically uh, figure out, excuse me, um, figure out how to frame it just because it's Oh, this is just going to be wonderful, <laughs> but has to be done. And as I always like to say, have a good day, guys.